right, guys. So, a few months ago, maybe a little more than a month and a half ago, I'm not 100% sure, I uh, came across some videos on, on Beatles because I, I like my Beatles and I'm subscribed to a channel called Ants Canada and he was doing some things on some, some Rhino Beatles and stuff. I came across a video of possibly... Uh, if I remember correctly, one of the uh, most durable insects in the uh, animal kingdom, known as the ironclad beetle. Well, from what I've seen photos of, there are multiple, or there are two species that I've seen, one being white and black, and the other one being almost solid black, uh, being the desert ironclad beetle. Well, this one that I have found living here in Lubbock, Texas, uh, in my backyard in fact uh from what i've been told ironclad beetles are beetles that with extremely durable shells of course uh not very many oh and it pooped on me what um well ironclad beetles having some of the hardest uh shells to pierce so normally they have to take a, a small drill and drill a hole through them for uh, preservation uh, one defining characteristic from what I've heard of an ironclad beetle is a carapace that once was uh, evolutionary necessary for wings etc etc this uh, uh, the uh, ironclad beetles still have the divisional line but they do not separate well um, let me see, oh well, I'm going to have to do it like this, this little guy in my hand right here, I do believe is a ironclad beetle, which is honestly really, uh, really interesting for me because I've been here in Texas for about 15 years now. And I've I've never seen them before. I, I've I've never come across them. And uh, oh oh, where is it? That little speck on my thumb. Yeah, that's uh, apparently beetle poo poo. And oh, here's the gorgeous little guy himself. Focus. There we go. See if he's not going to be too shy and he'll come out. Yep, see? But, come outside letting my uh, letting my animals out to use the bathroom and I just see him on the ground there. Uh, if anyone's got any more information on, on these guys and, you know, can teach me any more and tell me if this is in fact an ironclad beetle or just something similar or not. Uh, thanks and... Y'all have a nice day.